The turkey won't make you up just And I hope your Christmas doesn't suck Okay, boys and girls, it's been a lot of fun, but it's time to go off to bed now. Seek another one, Uncle Bobcat. I'd really like to, but it's getting late, and uh, the band's union, they've really been busting my nads. Aww! Please, please, please! please. Maybe we have time for a story. Would you like to hear a story? Yay! This is a story about a family. A mommy and a daddy and two children. What are their names, Uncle Bobcat? One's named Amy, and one's named Luke. Who's telling the story, you little... It was Christmas Eve. Mommy was in the kitchen preparing the holiday meal. A warm fire was crackling in the den. Amy and Luke were at the table, making out their last minute Christmas list. But where was Daddy? Was he out in the back getting firewood? No. Was he up on the roof hanging Christmas lights? No. Daddy was out, throwing back tall boys at a sleazy strip club. Stuffing dollar bills, Mommy'd been saving to buy Amy a new brace for her leg down a horse G-string. Daddy'd been drunk before, but this time he was so loaded he never even noticed he'd been urinating all over his brand new corduroy church slacks. Mommy. What? Shut your whimpering! Shut that cankle before I shut it for you! Get over here! Mommy. Don't you f***ing look at me with those eyes! Mommy. Don't you dare f***ing look at me like that! <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yeah! And when he did stumble home, it wasn't the sound of reindeer the children heard. It was the sound of mommy sobbing while daddy roped in their stockings. And when he fell over backwards on the Christmas tree, it was only a matter of seconds before the thing caught fire. Hot flames roared through the house. Luke was able to get out, but poor little Amy with that heavy iron brace from the 1920s on her leg wasn't so lucky. She called out for help. She screamed, kill me, kill me. I'd rather die than burn to death. Kill me, daddy, kill me. Go ahead, leave, you bunch of cowards. You can't handle the truth. What, you want stories about reindeers and elves and fairies? Well, that's not the real world, is it? Sometimes your heart gets broken, little bastards. Woman, give me another cup of nog. Merry Christmas from Bobcat Goldway. Ugh. <sighs>